The Catholic Health Association of India, formerly known as the Catholic Hospital Association of India, was founded in 1943 as a result of the vision and work of Sister Dr. Mary Glory, an Australian doctor nun who devoted her life to working for and among the poor in India. This was the time when the status of public health in the country was deplorable. Most of the private health care in the country was provided by Catholic institutions. Chai was established with the intent of bringing them together and consolidating their efforts so that united they could take health, healing and the love of God to everyone. Seventy years later, this organization now called the Catholic Health Association of India has grown from a seed to a strongly rooted tree that shelters over 3,300 member institutions in 11 regional units and works across the country taking health and healing to those who need it the most. The vision of the Catholic Health Association of India is to bring health for all. This would mean social, mental, physical and spiritual health, a holistic understanding of health. The mission of CHAI is to promote community health, to make quality health care accessible at reasonable cost, to ensure relief and rehabilitation to persons with disability, to control communicable and non-communicable diseases, to sustain advocacy and to provide relief to victims of disaster. Propelled by its motto, Love of Christ compels us, Chai seeks to be a voluntary charitable non-profit Catholic Christian organization working for the promotion of physical, psychological, social and spiritual health of all people irrespective of caste, creed or sex, rendering service, education and research. To realize this vision and mission, CHAI works in various ways in implementing and supporting many programs in collaboration with its member institutions and governmental and non-governmental agencies. Adopting community health has been the focus of the Catholic Health Association of India. Chai views health as not merely the absence of sickness, but as a state of complete physical, mental, social and spiritual well-being. Community health is understood as a process of enabling people, especially the poor and the marginalized, to be collectively responsible to attain and maintain their health and demand health as a right. A healthy community is also one that is inclusive and caring. Chai has been making efforts towards working for the people with disabilities, partnering in various projects to sensitize health workers and community members, to promote community-based rehabilitation and to provide medical and surgical intervention. CHAI with its member institutions has collaborated with many partners to work for those suffering from communicable diseases including leprosy, tuberculosis and in the last few decades HIV AIDS. There is an ongoing tuberculosis epidemic in the country and CHAI and its member institutions are directing their efforts towards its containment. The Catholic Health Association of India was also among the first in the country to frame a policy on HIV AIDS and continues extensive work in generating awareness on prevention of HIV AIDS and holistic care of people living with HIV. CHAI is also focused on the control and management of non-communicable diseases. Cancer has been one of the deadliest diseases, claiming the lives of many 
bringing unbearable pain and torment not only to the patient but to their families as well. India is the diabetic capital of the world and with it other lifestyle diseases are on the rise. We at Chai are committed to caring for these patients and helping them manage their diseases and conditions better and providing medical intervention. Human suffering is compounded and amplified during natural disasters. Many are left dead, injured, homeless, orphaned and hungry. In times of such dire need, Chai along with its member institutions and medical staff has been at the forefront, working actively to provide medical and food supplies and post-disaster intervention. The functioning of CHAI and its member institutions is largely influenced by public policies on health. With a membership of over 3,000 institutions, CHAI seeks to sustain advocacy to take up people's issues and matters concerning health. As the largest network of private health institutions in the country with members ranging from multi-speciality hospitals to rural dispensaries, the Catholic Health Association of India aims to be a guiding force in the policy-making process of the country. As a network of health institutions and as a Catholic organization, we are committed to bringing health to everyone. We are also committed to upholding the values of compassion, care and love. Our member institutions are committed to helping people improve their quality of life. And every day, hundreds of lives are saved and tens of thousands are healed by our institutions, giving primary health care across the nation. In 70 years, we have worked well and worked hard to achieve the dream of our founder. Close to one-fifth of the medical care in this country is provided by various Catholic institutions. We have been able to provide quality care to those suffering from diseases. Hope to those who are HIV positive, peace to those who are terminally ill, and love to those who have been rejected and discriminated against. And yet, we face many challenges. The cost of healthcare is rising. Private entities are keen on turning health into a profitable industry. New diseases are on the rise, even as the old ones are yet to be tackled. Pricing of consumables is manipulated by pharmaceutical corporates. Governmental policies are often wishful and short-sighted. And while many Indians are becoming more affluent, there are still millions who are yet to gain access to health institutions. But challenges can be overcome if we come together. Having completed 70 successful years, we must look ahead and build a way forward. We must share resources, grow stronger and frame sustainable policies so that we can continue to reach and serve the poorest of the poor. Let us join hands and become a force to be reckoned with.